this is Lego Crown. Today I'm going to be showing you my Jurassic Park mock. There's a lot of balloons popping in the background, but that's going to be okay. Because I want to show you my Jurassic Park mock. So, you know, it's a really cool thing, I actually thought. It's kind of like a landscape. It's, it wasn't much. It wasn't the hardest thing ever. But, you know, it was simple and it really, really looked good. So, first of all, this guy I thought would be really cool. And he wasn't actually hard to bake. I just took this black hair here that you could get in a lot of places. From this head here from the Ninjago movie sets. And I think you can also get that head from Lego City Police. And then I got this from Lego, you know, Falcon from the Marvel superheroes, the Falcon. And then I got this brown legs. You know, brown legs. And then I just used Ultron's head on this thing with a blue thing and then a stick to make like, you know, they always have these shocking things. But I thought that this would be a really cool because it's like a newer model of that. It's like, sorry, I think I have like a mist mode on or something on my thing. But it looks good, I actually think, kind of. So, yeah, I used that. So that wasn't anything big. And then I kind of put him back in a walking backwards position, like trying to kind of get away. And what I used here is this baby dino piece, which was really weird. I think you also could get that in Toy Story, you know. It's really cool. It's a baby dino. It's like a little baby dinosaur. Since I didn't have a big dinosaur and I wanted to make some Jurassic Park things since the new movie is coming out, I thought, you know, it would be cool to have a dinosaur. And then I was like, oh, wait, I have this baby dino. So I used that. So I just put that right here, and it didn't do much other than that. So here, you can, as you can see, I put just a couple of black things, two black slopes to make it look like tar, kind of tar. And then I put this here on the back. And then here, I just put a bunch of bumpy, every kind of gray thing I could find that's like... Every kind of gray thing I could find, like this, just to make a bumpy surface right here. Back here, I put kind of like a walking rock, like a smoother rock right there, smoother. And then here, I put like another bumpy thing. And then I put some mud, like here, the mud. And then it still has green, like a swampish mud with a swampish, like, made it kind of more like a swamp, like... A swamp with rocks like a rocky swamp which was really cool and it actually really worked out and that's not much you know I can show you the landscape just by itself but it really wasn't much like it, but it just made an awesome thing it just really did it all like um yeah it was really cool and then I put a slope piece there to make it look kind of like a nest for him like inside the mud and then here, this is sticking out, but I can do this. Hi, Levi. Um, I'm making a video. Sorry, but... Okay, so thank you guys, and see you next time. Oh, and also comment down below if you want us to do a what's in the box challenge. That would be awesome. But, you know... It would be kind of cool. And then let's get one last close-up of the whole thing, and I'll actually take a picture of this. You know, because... I want to take a picture of 